This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Arc Mods Weekly. Got some great mods this week, so let's get to it. So the first mod we're gonna be taking a look at is one that we've taken a look at before and that mod is called Balance Narcotics. So you can see here, we already have the table and I'm just gonna kind of touch on this one because uh, you can watch the previous video. I'll link to it uh, up here in the top right hand corner. There be a little white white box pops up right now okay so right there it'll be link and down in the description uh you're gonna go in here and you're gonna type in table right here it is narcotics table now everything that's in this you have to learn as well and it all costs varying ingrams um so like the there's the 5 cc narcotic there's the 15 cc stimulant so if we go back into our ingrams we can type in NAR, and you could see here, there's that one, cost 16, or six engrams, this one costs six engrams. So uh, yeah, it's the, you have to learn each individual thing that is in here. So I'm gonna let you explore that for yourself, but uh, we are gonna touch on these things. I'm gonna go over some that I've already went over in the previous one, and we'll check out the new stuff, because uh, that's why we're looking at this. And the mod author said he updated it, added a bunch of new stuff, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. So. Um, oh, also, I want to point out real quick, let's go back over here. Previously, to make the web arrows, which we're going to take a look at here in a second, there or not the web arrows, the uh, web uh, darts, darts, that's the word I'm looking for, darts, you needed uh, silk. So if you didn't have a way of getting silk, if you didn't have the expansion or anything like that, and you didn't have any way of all of getting silk, you couldn't make them. But now there is uh, synthetic silk that you can make. It takes human hair, it takes uh, polymer and giant bee honey. So that's pretty cool that, that you can do that. I mean, you're not going to be making a lot of them because you know your hair only grows so fast unless you're gonna like shave the whole tribe you know your whole tribe's head but uh, they're OP so I mean they should be kind of rare to begin with okay let's uh, let's go take a look at some of these things first thing we're gonna take a look at is the harpoon stuff because that's new so we have the the 10 cc trank bolt and uh, we're gonna drop that on the old gun just to make sure it's equipped so whatever CC these are is how much stronger they are than like the base narcotics. So this is 10 CC, so it's 10 times stronger. So like uh, this here is 30, so it's 30 times stronger. So keep that in mind when we're going over these. Uh, if whatever CC it is, that's how, how much stronger it is. So this can be fired underwater, just like your crossbow, you know, bam, there you go. And uh, you fire it and you can pick up the, get the spear bolt back if it doesn't break. So you can trank stuff underwater with this. Although I gotta say, I don't care too much for the harpoon gun because of the price of making the, the uh, spear bolts. It just doesn't seem worth it to me when you could just make the five CC trank arrows. I mean, granted, they, these are uh, 10 CC, so they're 10 times stronger than a base. These are five times stronger than the base. And then you can make these, which are the 30 CC. So maybe those might be worth it. Uh, even then, making the five CC and firing these out of your crossbow. Heck of a lot cheaper, in my opinion, but uh, to each his own. So yeah, anyway, you can fire this underwater. Bam, there you go. You get it. You can also fire it uh, above above water. See, they don't fly very far, <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind there. Uh, you can. I like that you can collect them back so that you can reuse them because these are part of the crafting cost for this, of course. But uh, yeah, I mean, you're not gonna be shooting a whole lot with them, but uh, so there's those. And then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna take a look at the, uh, they got the different narcotics. So let's knock something out. Let's equip those into there. Let's go over here, see if we can hit this Pteranodon. Okay, Pteranodon went down in the water, but now we have this Dodo here. So we're gonna trank that guy. Oh, killed him. Let's try tranking this one. Maybe we won't kill this one. I don't know if they can handle the hit from it. There we go. He's webbed and he's down. So that shows the web dart. You can see there he's been webbed and he is unconscious. So then we have the powerful narcotics here. This is 15 times, uh, this one's a five times, and then we have the stimulants. So I noticed something in vanilla art. The stimulants do not, the base stimulant doesn't work the best for waking things up. So if we take a look at that, whoa, that that uh, that is powerful. So those definitely work to wake things up, which is fantastic. 
that's awesome because there's nothing like knocking something out. And this actually happened when I was streaming the other day, knocking something out and uh, it gets hit and then you got to wake it up and it's just painful in Vanilla Arc. But uh, as you see here, let's put one of each of these on here. Let's do a five time. Okay, so uh, let's feed it the five time. Look at it go. Yeah, that kicks down fast. Now we're gonna feed it that. Oh, let's feed it another one. Don't wake up. That five time is some strong stuff. Okay, there we go. We're fighting back, we're fighting back. So then we're gonna feed him a bunch of the 15 times there. And uh, you can see that uh, we're kicking his Torpor back up really fast. So really handy for, you know, tame. I mean, this is a really great tame mod. All around, just good tame mod. It's well balanced. Uh, you're not gonna make the uh, OP trank darts really easy, but uh, all the the stuff is very balanced recipes. So we take a look here. Let's take a look at the crafting cost here. So for the 15 CC stimulant, it's gonna cost you one stimulant, 75 extra or stem berries, and 15 spark powder. That's cheap. Let's look at the 30 CC dart. So you're gonna need two of the the high powered narcotics here. The 15 CC narcotics gonna cost you one narcotic 15 spoiled meat and 75 narco berries so you know relatively inexpensive um but still balanced in my opinion and uh so you're gonna need two of those you're gonna need 30 rare flowers and some rifle ammo and some metal not terrible not not a bad crafting cost uh, if you want the the web version you're going to need to add 30 silk into that so that making the silk with the human hair could be could be a little pricey, could be a little pricey considering you need 30 of them. But you only need 10 if you do the 10 CC. So you could hit them with the 10 CC web dart and then swap over to, you know, your 30 CC tranquilizers. That's a that's a possibility too, because it's gonna web them. So that's really all you need done. And uh, yeah, okay, that's it. Let's go on to the next mod. The next mod we are taking a look at is called Balanced Kibble. So you're going to go into your Ingrams and you're gonna type in kibble. There it is, kibble cooker. Gonna cost you 25 Ingram points, 15, uh, 115 cementing paste, 250 metal, 75 oil, and 75 polymer. It's a uh, little, little pricey there, but uh, it's OP, so it should be pricey. It can be irrigated. As you can see, I have a pipe down there. See the pipe extending below it? Can be irrigated, so you don't have to put, you know, you don't have to physically put water in there. Essentially, all this does is make kibbles much easier to get. You, uh, you don't have to learn any of these recipes. They all come in here. So you're going to need a ton of egg mix if you're gonna be making kibble. The egg mix uh, is an item that's added by this mod. It's gonna cost you any dino egg, five fiber, one giant bee honey, uh, five thatch and five water. So once you get a bunch of those, then you come on over here to your kibbles and you pick whatever kibble for whatever dino you want to tame. And uh, it tells you the recipe, just highlight over it. You know how it works and you're gonna need a bunch of egg mix and then some other random goodies, you know, cooked prime fish, for example, uh, you know, for that, the uh, not a trike trike and what does this one take? Some cooked prime jerky, some carrots and fiber, and you get the idea. It's a kibble cooker, but it's cool. You know, the mod author asked me to uh, spotlight it, so I am. And uh, it's a kibble cooker, and it does exactly what you would expect it to do. And I, I mean, I would say it's balanced. You need giant bee honey, and that's kind of a pain to get. You need one per each of these uh, egg mixtures. And if you take a look here, like that takes nine, so. Yeah, I mean, pretty balanced in my opinion. And some of this stuff takes like random, random shenanigans. Like you need the ammonite bile for, for the Kentro uh, kibble. So yeah, okay. On to the last mod we are taking a look at today. The last mod we are taking a look at today is called Speed Costumes. Now, uh, I can't really say go into your Ingrams and all that good stuff because you can't. These all have to be spawned in. Uh, normally, I don't really like to show off mods that are like that, but I thought this one was cool because I think it's a great idea for something that server admins can give as rewards, especially because it works on any dino. Well, any dino with a costume slot. But uh, yeah, and it's it's super handy, and I thought it would be really cool to show off. So the spawn commands are on the mod page, and of course, as always, I will provide a link to that below. Essentially what it does is it allows you to put 
make costumes or spawn in costumes that increase dino speed. So you can see here we have 100% speed, so that puts them at their base. We have 200% speed. So let's just, for example, equip this 200% speed onto this raptor. So this is a raptor at 200% speed. And uh, as you can see, he's pretty fast and it affects him in the water. He's uh, pretty fast in the water as well because he's a raptor and he's already fast. So at 200, there we go. Now that we're on some land, a 200% increase in speed on a raptor is, uh, is kind of crazy. But this goes all the way up to 500 and it goes all the way to zero. So if we uh, take that out of there and we go back in here and we put this one here on him, which is the zero speed and we get on him, you can see we can't move. So this is a great costume if you're not playing with Structures Plus and you don't have the hitching post, but you want to leave something on Wander, but you don't want it to move. Well, there you go. You could just straight up lock it down with the zero speed costume. So maybe you, you put way too much speed in your Raptor. Maybe you got a little gung ho on the guy and he's kind of uncontrollable and you need to tone it down a little bit. Well, there's a 90% speed and it actually slows him down. So like I said, there's, there's everything from being slow down to normal speed to a 500% increase in speed. So you can see here, he's, he's significant. Well, I mean, it's a noticeable difference from his normal base speed. So if I take this off, you can see we're going decent speed for a Raptor. And then we put the 90% on him. And you can notice it. It is definitely, I mean, it's a 10% decrease, but it is noticeable. Okay, and uh, that's something to keep in mind the way this works. Like I said, even the 100% speed is going to lock them at 100%. So uh, it's not going to, you know, double their current speed. Okay, so there's the 500% speed and there is also turning radiuses. So there's ones that go um, up to 500, but also increase the turning radius by 500%. Now, one thing I did notice is that these break your dyno a little bit. So if we hop on this guy, see what I'm doing here? You can't, you can't do that on a normal dyno that has, doesn't have this on him. See, I'm just spinning in a, in a circle. Yeah, that's not really a thing. When you put this on them, that happens. Now, here's the thing. When you take it off, it doesn't go away. Now, I, I haven't verified whether it goes away when you restart or not, but either way, if even if you restart, you could just put it back on them and break them again. That's about the only thing it breaks. You, their speed does slow back down. You can see, right? Yep, there you go. So, but here's the fun thing. So we put this on the trike. This is a 500% movement speed and turn speed trike. <laughs> Look at this. It's so good. It's so amazing. I just love this mod for the 500% increase in speed on any dino with a costume. Like, look at this guy. He drifts. <laughs> it's Tokyo Drift Trike. I mean, it's crazy. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna show you a few more at 500% increase in speed. Like, here's a 500% increase speed Brontosaurus. So we'll just drop this on this bad boy here and, uh, you know, it's not as amazing as you would think, but I'm telling you right now, this big guy's booking it. You don't really notice it because he's so massive, but he's moving. He's definitely moving. Okay, now for the uh, the really fun ones. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna grab this uh, tame pteranodon over here. All right, here we are on our pteranodon. I already have the costume equipped to him and uh, you can't even stay in game review <laughs> when you turn. It can't. He can't. It can't keep up. Look how far ahead of the camera I'm going. Okay, look. I'm gonna stop. This is normal camera. Okay. I'm zoom in, zoom out. Normal camera. This is the normal. Now if I sprint. <laughs> okay. This is not sprinting. So you get a little bit ahead of the camera if you're not sprinting. Sprinting. The camera cannot keep up with you. Look at this. Look at this guy. And now here's the other thing. Watch this. Okay, we're going to fly really fast forward. Now I'm going to let off the controls and turn around. Okay, watch. Let off the controls, turn around. You drift. You see the drift? <laughs> it's only for a second, 
but he definitely drifts. And now we got to land because we're out of stamina. All right, we got the infinite stamina on now, so he should, or maybe not. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's 500% increased speed, Pteranodon. You're going to get anywhere on the map super fast. Okay, I have one more to show you, and you're going to love it. And uh, you can probably already guess what it is. All right, we are on a 500% base speed increased unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy go. Look at this. Okay, now we're in a nice open field. Now when you turn, it slows you down a little bit. You get a little slow on the turn, but watch this. Watch this jump. Look at <laughs> Turn around. Nothing. Nothing is catching you on this guy. Okay, so uh, now we're going to do... We're going to end on a fun note here. going to end on a fun note. You got to trust me. Wait for it. Whee! <laughs> And uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. <laughs> also, if you notice, you get that speed increase in the water as well. So your, your unicorn pretty much turns into a boat, more or less. <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Before I go, I just want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you all so much for all of your support. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.